Now, this can be a playoff team, and they can potentially win a playoff game. I don't think we're talking about Super Bowl or AFC Championship. And up until this point, I got to give them credit, Molly. They've surprised us up until this point, so why not? I tried to tell Stephen A. a few a couple years ago, a few years ago, about this dude when we had our epic rant about Alabama and LSU when he was in college. <laughs> Joe Burrow has shifted and changed the culture in Cincinnati. All right, one key component, and, and both of you know this. Y'all been covering the game long enough. If you don't have a guy under center that you believe can win every game, you are going to be a bad football team. And that's been the change for the Cincinnati Bengals. Chase has been magnificent. The draft pick worked out, which I thought it would. A lot of people thought they should go O-line, which was conventional thought. But I thought Joe Burrow needed to have the Batman Robin or whatever, however you want to deem him. Aaron has Devontae. Kyler has DeAndre Hopkins. Joe Burrow has Jamar Chase with just as good rapport because they played together. And now we see that coming to fruition in the league. This is a playoff team, all right? And just like the Arizona Cardinals, it's it's hard for people to digest it because these are not the conventional teams we think about as being good and top tier caliber. The Cincinnati Bengals are playing great defense. They have an offense with a quarterback that everybody believes when they walk into the stadium, more so him than anybody else, that no matter what happens, they can win the game. So I think they will be a playoff team. And whoever has them in the first round better not look at the name Bengals. They better pay attention to the guys that they have actually playing in those uniforms. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this is going to happen, but I got to admit, I'm not going to rule out the possibility that the Cincinnati Bengals could end up in the AFC Championship game. Mm. just by virtue of how we're seeing yeah. other teams play. Kansas City is a huge question mark because of their defense. The Raiders are there, but we can't definitively say they're better than the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah. We just saw what the Bengals did to the Baltimore Ravens. We still have question marks about the Pittsburgh Steelers. We saw what the Bengals did to them. The Buffalo Bills are there, and everybody's looking at them as a complete team. But outside of that, you're looking at Derrick Henry and his ability to run the football, and you're wondering whether or not Cincinnati, could they possibly knock on somebody like Tennessee? Well, Cincinnati is a top-five defense yep. in the National Football League right now. So when you look at Joe Burrow, when you look at Jamal Chase, when you look at how the combination of those two have reinvigorated this franchise because You've got Mixon looking like a stout running back. you got Tiggins and Boyd and these boys balling out as well along with their tight end. I look at Cincinnati. I'm not saying that it could happen. I need to see more evidence. But standing here right now, yeah. I don't think we can look at anybody in the AFC and say Cincinnati can't beat them. Absolutely. Say, you concur, Ma Marcus? Say, yeah, I concur. And to your point, man, that's why I, I wanted to make it a point for these teams not to go in there thinking this is the Cincinnati Bengals. You better pay attention to the names on them jerseys and them playmakers that they have out there because they, because of the ascension of Chase, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any offense in the NFL because of how he's playing and Uzama at tight end. This is a really good football team. This is not a fluke. They are a really good football team. So be careful when you run up on them. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.